Hey guys, it's Hannah here and today I am back with my top three in every category for lips. So if you saw one of my last videos, I don't know when they're going up, I did a revisiting the ride or die tag. And in that video I mentioned that I couldn't pick a ride or die lip or eye products because I have too many. So I was going to do a top three in every category inspired by Samantha March who did a top three in every category for face, eyes, and lip. Now I was going to do that as well, but then I found that for face, it would be too hard to pick a top three just because um, I'm so focused on panning base products at the moment. So if you want to see my top three face, cheek, like cheek color products, I can do that, but I'm going to do lips, I'm going to do eyes, and then if you guys want cheek products, I can do that too. But I did give you my ride or die cheap products in that ride or die video that I'll try and remember to link down below. So lips was really hard for me to pick a ride or die. So I have kind of, I still think I'm trying to decide if I should do lip balms. We'll see how we go through the video. Let's go. I've picked formulas. Some of them are colors. Some of them are formulas. Um, it is what it is. So. Starting with lip liner, um, my first favorite that still exists. So you all know that I love the Marc Jacobs lip liners. What are they called? I've just finished Primrose. Pout liner long wear lip pencils. Primrose was my favorite shade. I loved it. It was my ride or die shade, like lip product. However, it doesn't exist anymore, so I feel like I can't pick it. One of my formulas, I currently don't have one in stock, but I'm hoping to get some. So I only have two to show you, but three to mention. The first formula is ColourPop's lip liners. This is what I'm wearing today. Um, this is Oh Snap. I have quite a few. I bought a pack of them uh, Black Friday many a couple of years ago. This is Oh Snap. And it is very similar to Primrose, in, except it is slightly cooler and lighter. No, nope, just slightly cooler. Same kind of tone. So that's uh, Marc Jacobs Primrose. It, I can't apply it to my lips anymore. It's only valuable for swatching purposes now. Um, and that's ColourPop Oh Snap. So very similar colour, hence why it's kind of the next one I reach for. But the ColourPop lip liner formula is a sharpenable pencil. However, most of mine have broken away from the base. Just letting you know that. But the lids do seal on quite nicely so they don't dry out. They're quite a creamy pencil, hence they're in the sharpenable formula rather than the twist up. And I just find the variety of shades in the color means you can't go wrong. My second favorite formula is a new one to me. And this is the Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lip Liner. I have the shade Worthy, which is a more brownie tone, but still kind of similar. Again, a slightly, so it goes coolest, mid-tone, warmest, but still kind of the same. <laughs> I have a type um, of lip liner. This is, again, really creamy. Um, it really holds the lip color in, which I really enjoy, um, but it still has a little bit of movement to it, so you can kind of blend it and work with it if you need to. And then my third lip liner formula is Charlotte Tilbury's. I love the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. I finished Pillow Talk up this year. It is by far the longest wearing lip liner formula that I've tried. It is not as creamy as the two formulas I've already mentioned because it does have that more set down wear. Not that these don't set down, but they do have that more malleability to them. So if you're someone who struggles with lipsticks bleeding, um, I would go the Charlotte Tilbury option over the ColourPop and the Rare Beauty. But the Rare Beauty and ColourPop do set down, they just take a little bit longer. So they're more, if you're someone who likes to fill in your whole lip, hi, me. Uh, with lip liner so that your lip color lasts longer. They're really good because they're really easy to quickly apply. Charlotte Tilbury, you can do that too. And I have many times with Pillow Talk. Um, but it does just kind of take a little bit longer. 
and I bet your pillow talk would look exactly the same as these. Um, so that's it for lip liners. Let's go on to standard lipsticks. Now I could have done matte and glossy, but I am trying to be good. Trying to be good and pick just three. And then these are colours and formula. Um, Natasha Denona Pillow Talk. This is the uh, Matte Revolution formula, which is my preferred formula of hers. I do have both, but I have more of the Matte Revolution formula. Pillow Talk is, as Pillow Talk is, just my kind of everyday neutral shade. It's really a little bit more pink, a lot more pink than what I'm wearing. Uh, it went very cool today. Um, but it is something that just suits most looks that I go for. It wears really nicely and it's super comfortable. Similar vein but a shiny version, we have Max Patisserie. Um, I just find this, it looks quite a bit pinker. This is just a really easy lipstick to wear. This is, I think, my first foray into the super glossy lips, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, but this is just really, so this is a luster, and it's just a really nice, shiny, hydrating lip colour. I do usually wear it with a more browny lip liner to tone it down, but it's just super comfortable and easy to wear. It is one you have to reapply more because it is more glossy, but it's gorgeous. And then the one that's probably the most out there is Natasha Denona I am Amorosa, which is, it's a cream formula, I think, this I Need a Nude. It's actually a darker version of what I have on. This colour, this was from there um, when the Love Collection came out. So it's the pink one. And it goes really well with pinkies, which is why I have something very similar on. But this is just really comfortable. I like comfort. But long wearing, but not fully matte. Like it has a little bit of something to it. It's like a comfort matte, I'd say. Um, the colour is really unique in that it is almost this grey brown nude. And it's gorgeous. I love it a lot. I definitely want to try more of this Natasha Denona formula um, because this is my only one of her lipsticks. I want to try her lip liners too because everyone says they're amazing as well. But this is just something unique to my collection, I say as I'm wearing a lighter version of it at the moment, but it's just gorgeous. I really like it. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Let's move on to my current favourite type of lip product. So the hardest to pick my three in and that is the ultra glossy high shine lip stick products. So I have two of the non-retractable full gloop gloss and then one of your more traditional shiny lipsticks but is more on the glossier side though patisserie could probably fit into that as well. Hence why I'm thinking I should have done. Anyway, anyway. I've done what I've done. So let's start with the one that kind of started my love of this glossy look, but is probably the least glossy out of all of them. And it is L'Oreal Varnished Rosewood. So this is a sheerer colour. It's more purpley than what I have on, but similar tone. Um, and it's just a sheerer but shiny product. And this kind of started my love affair with this formula. Then we got things like Marc Jacobs uh, High Shine Enamored Gloss Sticks. And I love those. And the Sephora Click Sticks. And then we got the M Cosmetics Lip Cushion Tinted Lip Luminizer. Now this one is in Venetian Rose. I also have Mona Lisa. And this is a gloss in a stick. This is the kind of tr really, again, really high shine here. Really thick and juicy on the lips. Just gorgeous. And this one, 
again is that kind of click up product you only click it I click it up once if you click it up more you'll get even more thickness on the lips and then we have the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. I have the original and the plump. I like both. This one, it clicks up for you. This one is in coconut. And this is even thicker than the um, M Cosmetics. So the M Cosmetics is kind of a happy medium between the two. This one is super duper thick and almost syrupy, but beautiful. This one is still thicker than the L'Oreal, but it's um, thinner than the Tarte. It's kind of that happy medium. So if you find the Tarte to be too thick, try the M Cosmetics. Um, but again, don't click up too much or you will get more product and that will then make it thicker. Um, but this is just my kind of lip product at the moment. The shine is just, and you'll see this shine on the Tarte is the most glossy of them because it has the most product but they're all beautiful then we look at liquid lipsticks which are probably my least worn lip product of the moment but I still have some in my collection and I still have three that I quite like the formulas of I have one that is a true matte and it is the Too Faced what are these even called Long, Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Lipsticks. How, I forget that name. The one I have here is in Sugar Cookie. Um, it is the most neutral of the bunch of that I own. I have four, five minis. I have the Christmas mini collection and then I have Queen Bee. Sugar Cookie is the most nude. My hand smells like wipes, not sugar, but it is what it is. Um, this is the most, this is the only matte lipstick I have in my collection. No, lies. I have some Dose of Colors mattes, but this is the most comfortable matte I have in my collection. I reach for it when I'm reaching for candy cane for that red. If I want a long wear lip product, this is what I go for. Um, cause it's still comfortable. The other two formulas I have are more velvety. So this is the Velvet Mousse from Dose of Colors in Truffle. And it is just a, that little bit more plush on the lips. So it doesn't fully dry down and set. It's still that little bit more malleable on the lips and moves with your lips, which I think is really important. Um, and again, that's more comfort. And then we've got the M Cosmetics Ro Ro Rose Nude. I don't know what these are called. Her liquid lipsticks, which are again that more velvety, moussey, move with your lips, not fully dry down kind of formula. So I've got two of the more comfort wear and then one traditional. Um, and I find they all, they all wear really well. Obviously these two, the Dose of Colors and the M Cosmetics do fade a little bit faster because they don't fully dry down but I think the comfort level is worth it for the, those ones and it's not like you don't get a decent chunk of wear out of them first they you get a lot and then lip glosses I'm not gonna do lip balms I'm not gonna do it I only have two lip glosses because I'm not a gloss person I like glosses in sticks I don't like worn glosses unless they are Huda Beauty Silk Balm, which is basically a melted lip balm, which makes it an easier to apply lip balm than um, wet over a lip product than a lip balm, which will transfer the colour more. It's a really pretty colour, super comfortable, I like it a lot. Um, the only other lip gloss is the NARS Velvet Lip Glides. I am wearing Camden Girls today. I also have... Again, another mini same Christmas set in Vandal. These could possibly go in the liquid lipstick category. Sorry, need to move. Because as you can see, they're not really glossy. They are again, that more kind of comfortable, fuller color product, but I use them more gloss like than I would use a liquid lipstick. I'm more likely to touch these up because these do wave fade faster than the comfort liquid lipsticks 
So for me, they are glossy, more gloss like than these ones, but they are kind of an in-between hybrid. Super comfortable, full color. Beautiful, beautiful. So those are my top three in every lip category, except for glosses, because I just don't wear glosses. Um, let me know what your favorite lip products are in the comments down below, any colors I need to try out. If you have Natasha Denona lipstick colors that I should try, let me know. Any more of these like clicky formulas I need, I want them all. Um, and let me know, are you a gloss person? Do you have gloss recommendations for me? Because I'm just not a gloss person and I don't know if it's just because I've never found great glosses or what. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe to stay tuned for more. I should be having my top three in eyes very soon. Bye guys.